Hello, I'm Ben T. Looney, and welcome back to Craig McCracken Month. After Craig was finished with the Powerpuff Girls, he created a new show with Cartoon Network to help kickstart the new era with Cartoon Network, an era of cartoon characters living in a big city together. And that show was Foster's Home for Imaginary Friends. So, this show is about Mac. An eight-year-old boy who has to give up his imaginary friend, Blue Regard, Q, Nick and Daddy, Poetle Waddle, Doodle, Merryweather, Jebediah Smith, Kazoo the Third Esquire. Actually, his real name is Blue Regard Q Kazoo, or Blue for short. Anyway, Mac puts Blue in a foster home for imaginary friends, and this show follows the sitcom-esque adventures of Mac and his new friend. This plot promises several comedic stories featuring these distinct characters. First, there's Mac, voiced by Sean Marquette, the main character. He's a normal 8-year-old boy who's always trying to be the voice of reason, but even he has instances where he loses his control. Don't give him sugar. Zeus help you if you give him sugar. I did once, and look what happened to me! Then, there's Mr. Harriman, voiced by Tom Kane. He's really uptight and organized, and he's always obsessed with everything being right 100% of the time. Rules are serious business to this rabbit. He's also a carrot addict, and he has a fear of dogs. He's usually the cause of all of Frankie's problems, making her work like a dog. Oops, I mean mule. Next, there's... <whistles> oh, please be at least 18. Uh, I mean, this is Frances Frankie Foster, or as I like to call her, Hot Chick Number 42. She's voiced by Great Delisle, and she spends most of her time working at Foster's and having to put up with the crap of the other friends, especially Mr. Harriman. Her short fuse causes her to get really impatient with the inconsideration of most of the other friends, especially Blue. Personally, I like it when she gets angry. It's hot. Uh, I mean, what? A bear! No, I'm serious! There's a freaking bear in here! Ah! Sorry about that. I'm a little beat, but I think I still have enough blood left in me to finish the rest of this video. Next, there's Will, voiced by Phil Lamar. Will is an athletic friend who's really nice and is always wanting to help others. He rarely gets angry. Keep in mind, I said rarely. He also hates lying, and he only lies when he's forced into it by his friends. He's usually really patient with his friends, even when they're being complete jerks to him. Next, there's Eduardo, voiced by Tom Kenny. He's a monster who's kind of a fraidy cat. Wait, kind of? He is a fraidy cat. He's also really innocent and is basically a man-child. However, he's also a character that if you push him to his limit, he'll let you know, and you'll regret it. Coco, 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 voiced by Candy Milo. Next, we have Madame Foster, also voiced by Candy Milo. She's an old lady. An old lady who likes to party hardy. Yeah, she's one of those hip old lady characters in cartoons, and I love her. I'm always a fan of the hip old lady character. They always crack me up. Next, we have a supporting character, Cheese, also voiced by Candy Milo. Cheese is an imaginary friend who doesn't live at Foster's, but he constantly visits it and drives everybody else nuts. He's a little... special. However, he's still a lovable character. Think of him as the derpy hooves of Cartoon Network. Next, there's Goo, voiced by Great Delisle. Goo is a hyperactive human girl with an overactive imagination. He's really bouncy and bubbly, and she's always there to lend a helping hand when it's needed. Finally, we have Terrence, voiced by Tara Strong. Terrence is Mac's moronic but dangerous older brother who's always trying to get Mac in trouble. However, he's always failing miserably. Well, that's all the characters. Tune in Friday for... Oops, sorry. That bear attack caused some brain damage which made me forget about one of the characters. And that is Blue, voiced by Keith Ferguson. Blue is a self-centered, egotistical jackass who is always using logical fallacies to make things go his way, and he doesn't stop at nothing until he gets his way. Blue is my favorite character in this show, and one of my favorite cartoon characters of all time. Yes, he's self-centered, yes, he's egotistical, and yes, he's a jackass. But that's what makes him such a great character! I know, his attitude might be a turnoff for some, but I think that's what makes him charming. Come on, folks. We all know somebody like Blue in real life, and sometimes we are Blue. Even though he acts the way he does, there have been times where he has shown that he has a heart. 
I just love how deliciously egotistical he is. He's basically this generation's 50s Daffy Duck. So, yeah, although Blue's character can be a great big jackass, that's why I love him so much. Alright, so there are the characters of Fosters. Tune in Friday when I count down my top 12 favorite episodes of Fosters. Now, if you excuse me, that bear is still in here! Ah! <laughs>